Hey, girly voice. I wanted to talk to you a little bit more about. Uh, I, I I don't think I was very clear. Um, I, I, when I did my alone video, um, I was I was talking more along the lines of like, uh, so you so you want to be more alone, that kind of thing, or you want to be good at it. Um, but I forgot to mention uh, maybe maybe why 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 would anyone want to be alone? Um, and I think because it's it's all connected. It's everything's like uh, like you know having like investing in friendships and investing in being a part of a society or a group, um, especially in work, um, has has amazing benefits. Um, sometimes fantastic benefits. But a part of what uh, is going to make you valuable in a group uh, or valuable in a friendship is what do you bring to the table? Like, who are you? Um, and uh, what a lot of what who you are is uh, pretty much how you spend your alone time. Um, like I was thinking, I know two people, uh, one that plays Ultimate Frisbee um, and one that plays soccer. And I'd, I'd go see a lot of their games. And I never really got a sense of who they were. I mean, even when they talked about the game, it seemed so divorced from um, who they were as a person. Uh, and I'll, because the, the, I mean, the, they, they were, you're part of a group, you're part of a collective, you're all working towards a common goal, uh, you sacrifice for the greater good. Um, so, but what, here's what makes them a person is that the, uh, the ultimate Frisbee player uh, is a musician. And I used to go see her play uh, in coffee shops all the time. And basically, uh, she was like, she'd, just sit, she'd just play her guitar and stare at the floor, uh, which is what she'd do uh, in her apartment. Um, uh, she liked being around other people, but she really liked being by herself. And uh, she had all these great uh, songs that she'd practiced, and she wanted to share them. Um, but sitting there in the coffee shop, I got a much greater sense of who she was as a person because of what she does. Uh, when she's alone and that fact that she's comfortable with it and like like all those hours and weeks and months that she spends alone um, playing music um, had brought her to a level that uh, was just really beautiful and uh, my soccer player friend it was the same way like I didn't really get much of a sense of who he was as an individual when he was in a group um, but kind of what made him valuable in that group was uh, one of the things that I liked so much about him is uh, he was uh, painter and a sculptor and he taught me things he I mean he really like encouraged me when I was doing uh, found item sculpture uh, he showed me how to take found items and turn them into something that would make it look like you'd have to buy that you you need to buy these parts so it could look this cool uh, he showed me how to do that and he knew how to do that stuff that's because he spent uh, you know hours and weeks and months and years turning uh, trash into something that looked cool um, so I think some people want, want the home run of uh, being on the sports team uh, or uh, you know, being the life of the party because um, that feels awesome. But I don't think you're going to get that home run unless you're out uh, um, focusing on yourself. Like th I think that is the investment uh, that you're giving your friends is uh, how many times that you've gone out uh, I don't know. I explored around Oregon here, and so that when I, one of my friend uh, does say, "Hey, what's a good hike? Would you like to go on a hike?" and I'm like, "I know a ton of hikes uh, just in this area. How do you feel about suspension bridges?" I love suspension bridges. I'm like, "Let's go hike one. Um, or let's go hike to one across a valley, a valley that at one point in time had uh, um, the uh, the guts of Mount St. Helens uh, shoot through, so it's all carved out and weird looking." Um, like so, I mean, I do that for myself. I, I go hiking uh, for myself, but that is what I bring to a friendship, and that is what I bring to society. Even like when I go to work, um, actually, all, all those hours uh, being quiet by myself, uh, oddly, oddly enough, really pays off in a group of people because um, I'm I'm I've, I'm kind of trained to be patient and observant. I've trained myself to be that way, and that uh, that's a good skill to bring to a workplace. So. So I, I do understand what you're talking about, about investing uh, in friends. Uh, I really think that uh, being alone is an excellent investment into that. So, so Gurley, great to see you in the tubes. And uh, yeah, here I'm out here. I'm not, I'm not alone. I've got, I've got Aquila. <laughs>